Terrell's here, and I'm back again to talk about the new Korean movie, Alienoid Returns to the Future. You're probably remembering uh, the previous uh was the previous review uh we actually did which was a team review between me and cam uh where we talked about the original Illinois alienoid uh movie uh where we did like the movie but we also felt like it was a lot going on and a lot of explanation um here we are with the sequel uh which is also directed by dung hoon choi um who's come who's come back again to to finish off this movie i feel like it's been a while because i feel like that uh original Illinois came out what 2000 i'm sorry 2022 um and here we are 2024 with the sequel to that movie um and i must say um it is definitely a vast improvement over that original one and i and i only think only say that because there the story just wasn't there at the time there wasn't enough explanation as like what was going on and i feel like part two definitely um definitely fixes a lot of that and explains a lot of what was going on that really left us puzzled when we originally watched that first movie um if you guys are not familiar with this um the summary of this movie uh ancient, ancient towers travel through time and space in an effort to obtain the divine sword um i mean it's pretty pretty much as simple as that right like it's 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 a really crazy story um alienoid um like i said if you haven't seen the first one we, you know, I'm trying not to butcher names. Uh, we have um, Marek uh, and Leon um, and God Who Thunder, which is also a robot, uh, who, who are trying to stop this, like, uh, alien invasion of Earth. But it also requires them to uh, go through time and space uh, in order to do that. Um, in this one, like I said, uh, we picked right back off where we left, where when the first one we were in the present, kind of trying to figure out what was going on. We were in the present or the future, trying to figure out what was going on there. And this one, we're in the past, uh, getting a little bit of explanation. And in the first one, too, it kind of flip flops between the past and present. This one does, too. Uh, I feel like my, my only thing is that they're not really clear about uh, when they flip between the two. You kind of jump and you don't kind of get the explanations to like why you, where you are, why you are. But like, like I said, you kind of got to watch these movies back to back, hand to hand to kind of really, uh, really get a, for like a good explanation of like what's going on. Um, but let me, let me just talk about the movie. So like I said, the, the sequel, I, I got to say after watching this one, I really, I really did like the, the story. It's, it's fun. Um, I, the comedy here is really great. The action I think is really incredible. Um, this is a, clearly a big blockbuster you know korean film you could tell there is the budget for this is astronomical um because the level of cg and destruction and stuff like they have in this movie is on a marvel level um i guess if that's how you would want to compare this is almost comparable to a marvel movie as far as like you know what's what's going on uh i don't i, I don't say like every american audience like this is this is again you want to watch that first one but this is one of those movies where it's kind of out there um because you have magic you have aliens, you have time travel, uh, you got robots. You, it's, it's a little bit of everything in this movie. Um, and again, like I said, if you saw the first one, then it's not it's not too much of a surprise, like what's going on. Um, the 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 protagonist, our hero of the story, which is the young girl, who you know is supposed to be the one to you know save it all and, and recapture this uh, you know alien, stop this stop this invasion in her present time. So she has to finally you know hence the title, get back to the future. Um, using the divine dagger to to get back um majority of the movie of course is everybody trying to get their hands on this blade because this is the one thing that could actually stop um these aliens and capture them um like i said we have we have some introducing of some new characters in there um we have a young young boy who we you know i'm not going to spoil that for you who you know becomes a big part of the movie um also you you see him um at the end of the last one uh where our main character gets saved so like I said, it's it's a lot of twists and turns in this movie. Um, and like I said, it's a lot of trying to figure out where you kind of left off, what was going on. Cause it took me a minute, because like I said, it's been a been a while since I saw that first one to kind of recollect my thoughts. I'm like, okay, where where was I? Where were we last? Um, as far as the action in the movie goes, like the action is really, really well done. That's one of the things, like I said, um, as far as you know, these these Korean movies go, they do a really good job of directing the action showing the action everything just you know flows so well 
um the alien stuff blowing up you know the sword scenes a lot of the fights look really really good even like i said when they get down to like the magic and the spell stuff like that it doesn't look as ridiculous you know as watching like dr strange or something like that um but like i said it, it, look, it looks really good i really like I said the, the music is really really good uh the music for the film also fits really really well uh which like i said it, it just really really flows um like i said i think the um the performances in the movie uh, outside of it you know kind of being silly um a little bit of serious or like they like just had the genre of this sci-fi genre film um is is really you know i think they do a really really good job of like holding a level of like seriousness to the story and like everything that's going on but other than that like i said i mean the the sequel to this movie like i said obviously is better than the first um you know it's always hard to you know topple top the sequel toppling the first one you know you're uh, Empire Strikes Back, you know, the, the, those, uh, you know, Batman Returns, which, you know, some people would say the first is better than the second one, but no, this this one, these movies are meant to be watched together. So the, the, this all, if you're being honest, is all one continuous movie um, that they probably couldn't cut down the two, uh, just the two hours. They had a two-man two cut. So like I said, it's is, is really, is really well, well directed because um, apparently it, it's written and directed by the same person, Dong, Dong, Hoon, Dong Hoon Choi, um, who directs this movie? Um, I said, I mean, this is definitely uh, just going back into it. This is what a three point five out of five for me. If I had to give it a rating, action's on point. Um, the, the the level of CGI, the um, the special effects, everything in this is really really well done. Um, like I said, I, I've tried to look up the budget to see what it was. I couldn't find it. Let me see if I could. I said, if I could just find, like I said, the run. To, oh, hold up, hold up. Nope, do not have the budget. I just want to see if I can. But the run, it's a two-hour movie, um, and they use every bit of that time. Um, I think down down to like the last minute, which might be like credits, but like as soon as it comes on, it's it's jumping right back into uh, the movie, and you and you don't miss anything. Um, as I said, I mean, it's, if you guys have seen the first one, I, I highly recommend jumping right back into Alienoid Return to the Future. Um, it is worth the watch, two hours, um, but it's a fun ride from start to finish. Um, like I said, it just took me a minute to kind of figure out where I was, what was going on. But once I got back into it, I definitely could not kick, take my eyes off of it because I was, it's, it's definitely a spectacle. This is something that you would want to see on the big screen. Um, I will also, I think I would buy this too, like on Blu ray if it ever came out. I don't, I don't think we get a lot of South Korean movies here, um, you know, with Netflix kind of picking up the helm. I think everybody's kind of picking up the helm for like Korean movies. We're getting like Hulu and Netflix. Um, some of them are prom. They were getting a lot of like uh, Japanese and, and Korean stuff now, which I do like to see more of because, like I said, we definitely want to get more exposure to other cultures and like those movies. Um, not not quite there to like Bollywood movies yet, but like I said, like you, you know, you're gonna get some good, some good, some good stuff out of uh, you know out of these these K these K drama movies, which like I said, I, I, from the level of money they put into the television show, which apparently they don't dump a lot, but it looks like they have. Um, it's it's really really well done. So. Like I said, check out Alienoid Return to the Future. Definitely worth the watch. Uh, like I said, if you saw the first one, then obviously you definitely should check this out. The action's great. The CGI is great. I don't think, you know, like I said, outside of the story, just kind of just being eh, kind of confusing. <laughs> like, I mean, it's a time travel movie and everything. It's a lot going on. Like I said in the, in the original, it is a lot going on for this too. But I think this one makes a lot more sense because they, they go back and explain a lot of stuff um, that wasn't explained in the first one and kind of connect the dots more. Um, so it definitely, like I said, fills in a lot of, of the void space um, that the first one is. And it's probably done on purpose, too, because, again, it's a time travel thing. And I feel like that's kind of a plot reveal as to why certain people were where they are and who who's who throughout the movie. But uh, other than that, like I said, Alienoid and Alienoid 2 Return to the Future are um, watched together are definitely, definitely great. Um, like I said, check it out. Uh, it is out uh, now uh in 2024 so you can check that out um if you have access to any uh of the um the k drama the k drama movies uh shout out to wells well go entertainment who always provide uh, you know the uh the awesome screeners for this and allow you know like i said i don't watch trailers for any so i just jump right in uh shout out to well go uh for bringing us out in the distribution for this 
So that means we're pretty definitely going to be seeing it pretty pretty soon. You could get some good subtitles as well, because uh, good subtitles will make a break uh, with these movies. So I don't think even think we're even in the era anymore where like anybody's doing a terrible job of subtitles. None of those fan subs like have legitimate people translating these movies. So as as far as like the version I watched, of course, subtitle with in the original uh, language, um, it, it was translated very well. But anyway, um, like I said, check it out. Let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments below. If you guys get a chance to see it, I do think it's worth the watch. If you've seen the first one, um, it was a fun time. I loved, I definitely enjoyed every moment of it. Like I said, uh, 3.5 out of 5. Three and a half <laughs> out of 5. So it's, it's definitely worth it. But other than that, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys time for another review. See you.